purest sound of what these guys can bring to you. Um, you're going to hear um, an amazing, amazing sound from these guys anyways, but this room makes it a little bit more special. Um, we have, um, I want to take you guys a um, couple events coming up. We have uh, Aloha Shorts, uh, those of you who are familiar with uh, a, a program from long ago. We're bringing it back for one night only at the Polycoon Theater on August 11th. And there are some bookmarks we have out there that gives you more information. If you want one of those, just ask Ruth or myself. I'll be happy to give you one. Um, it tells you information about where to buy tickets and whatnot. Um, also, I wanted to mention that next weekend, we have a concert featuring um, all singer-songwriters, all up-and-coming uh, artists who are just starting to blossom and, and coming out into the woodwork now. And they're going to be amazing someday. So we're showcasing them now before they get too famous for us. Um, so that's a concert next weekend. Tickets are still available for that if you'd like. Talk to me or Ruth after, and we'll be happy to hook you guys up. And without further ado, I'm going to hand it over to Rick and the guys. Thank you, Jason. So uh, for tonight's concert, uh, we're, we're going to 
feature the music of Muddy Waters, who was so important uh, to the blues. And, and the first set, we're going to do a lot of his earliest recordings with Chess Records up in Chicago. And, uh, and then in the second set, we're going to feature the more high energy stuff with the whole band and stuff going electric. In the beginning, when Muddy's uh, started, uh, when he first started recording for Chess Records, it was just him and a stand-up bass guitar. So our very first song, before I have the band come out, we're going to give you folks a taste of that. Now, the story of Muddy Waters and uh, the explosion of his success with the country blues was a case of the right person being in the right place at the right time. And his story is also a story of the Great Migration, where from the Depression years until on up into the 50s, hundreds of thousands of African Americans in the South left the South and what was basically uh, an oppressive, almost feudal-like system based on the, uh, cotton plantations. And they were, for $13, they could get a ticket, a one-way ticket on the Illinois Central train and go up to Chicago or Detroit or one of the cities up north where there were manufacturing jobs and unions and a better way of life. Well, Muddy was one of those people. He left the, the Delta of Mississippi and he took his music up there. And at the same time, guitars, they started making electric guitars. And uh, he got an electric guitar and he started playing in the, the bars and taverns in the south side of Chicago. And then he started doing some session work for the Chess Brothers, They're two uh, Polish immigrants that had a record company and they had some nightclubs and stuff there in the south side of Chicago. And Muddy started recording for them and his success was immediate because uh, up until that time in Chicago, the blues was, uh, most of the blues in Chicago was, was of a more sophisticated nature. Big Bill Brunzi was real popular and stuff. But so many of the African American people that moved up there, when they heard the Delta blues from back where they came from, they just ate it up, and the rest is history. And then along came the folk, uh, the, the folk craze, and then the, the British rock bands adopted uh, so much of the country blues, and, and it just basically conquered the world. <laughs> so, I'm me and Ian, and this is Ian Chains on the bass here. Yeah. We're going to give you a little taste of the walking
Okay, now it's time for the Trailer Park Romeos. <laughs> On drums, we have Paul Mojo Gomes. Over here on my left, we have Sean Harrison. Corey Funai on vocals and harmonica. And then our special guest tonight is Carl Golden. How about a big hat for Rick Smith?
All right. Bravo. And now the song that really started it all. Rolling Stone.
passed away on May 11th. So we're dedicating this performance to them. Now, this next song is important because when Muddy Waters recorded it for Chess Records, the Chess Brothers printed up 3,045s and they sold out in 36 hours. So that's when they knew that they 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 had a they had they had something. This song is called Can't Be Satisfied.
my help. Do I know this one? <laughs> you are a hard act to follow, Carl. I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best. Do my best. Do my best. <laughs> Sean, full court chug. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not medium chug. Yeah, right. One, two, three. <laughs>
much. It's getting toasty warm in here. It's getting really warm. Feels like corner wind inside the building. I prefer trains, but you know, what are you gonna do? And we're What's up next, Mr. Smith? Skills? Oh, oh Who's still a fool? Me? Yeah. You? Yeah. And oh, you? Your hands are still a fool. And you? <laughs> Stay a fool. No, once, once again, folks, we're very happy to have you out here. Uh, how about a big hand for uh, public radio? Yeah. yeah. Decent, right? yeah. He's I'll in the be close. He's He's in the recorded, which will later be broadcasted for the program uh, in a small room. Mm -hmm. so. oh, cool. <laughs> All right. I first heard this song and, and it just, it was so simple and it was so raw, I got chicken skin and I've wanted to play it for decades. And this, when we did this Muddy Waters tribute, I finally got an opportunity to play. In the original recording, it was Muddy Waters on guitar and little Walter, who normally played harmonica, he also played guitar and a bass, and Leonard Chess played the kick drum. <laughs> so here you have it, still a fool.
we're going to give you folks uh, a little taste of what you're going to hear in the second set. We're, we're all going to go electric at this point. Corey is going to play uh, his harmonica through that little dispatch uh, microphone there. Do this little accordion amp, and it totally changes the whole sound of the harmonica. That's right, car 54, where are you? Sean's going to play electric. Paul's going to change to sticks instead of brushes. But I'm still going to stay with this thing. Yeah, you stay. <laughs> What's he going to do? He's going to be me. I'm going to hold out. <laughs> and this is a little song called Gypsy One. Are y'all having a good time? Yeah. Yeah.